contact the, st the state this summer and ask them uh, to provide their assistance in a review. Um, and they, uh, they had agreed to do that. Um, they would not not take on a, a comparative analysis or benchmarking component to it, um, but they did agree to do the a, a financial, they call it a financial management audit. This is something that's done in, in many other communities, and again, we've discussed this in the past. Um, so I spoke to the state on uh, at the end of last week. Uh, I spoke to Mr. Younger this morning. We're trying to set up the, the first meeting. Uh, the first meeting will be Mr. Younger, myself, and Mr. Dow, and that will kick off uh, the, uh, the review, um, and we'll get obviously a lot more detail about, about uh, the scope and what they're going to look at, but this is where they'll come in, and from their experience, and they've done work in uh, some of the neighboring communities, I think they did some work in Winchester not, not all that long ago. Um, they come in and they take a look at what we do, how we do it, the budget process, financial management, the treasurer's office, the collector's office, yeah. and, and, and they will design the program somewhat based on the initial meeting. After that initial meeting, they will um, request a meeting with each of you. That can be done, uh, that's something you'll work out with them, so they'll be in contact with you to meet with you, hopefully at a mutually convenient time. Uh, they understand that, that we work, and uh, so they're flexible. They can do it late, late afternoon or early evening or early, early morning or, or whatever. So when I had my discussion with him at the end of last week, he was very, uh, very open and flexible. So when, when those meetings would, would occur, they'll also, uh, they'll also want to meet with some, uh, some finance committee as well as some others. So um, I think uh, from a timing perspective, uh, this is both good and bad. I think as we enter the budget process, I think it's great uh, that they'll come in and they'll, they'll be able to, uh, they can add some value based on what they've seen throughout the Commonwealth. And uh, obviously, you know, the way they handle uh, their budget, the way they do the reporting within DOR, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, this is a group of folks that's experienced in this. So, uh, let's get it going before they get cut. <laughs> uh, but, uh, that's what he said to me as well. He said, well, let's get going. You want to be Monday? <laughs> uh, I think this will be great. Uh, and I would encourage the board to, uh, uh, to, to give them your, your thoughts and comments and, and feedback. And obviously, I'll have more information from the board, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let folks know when that initial meeting's taking place and, and when they could expect uh, to be contacted. So that, I, I realize that's not the total answer of, of the issue you raised, but, right. uh, but I think that's a, that's a part of it, and, and I think that they add a lot of value there. I did also talk to um, uh, get the name. Is it Kingston? Oh, Hingston. Dick Kingston. Dick Kingston. Thank you. Dick Kingston. Uh, and I spoke with with uh, Mr. Hingston today uh, regarding interim audits or uh, you know specific scope. Um, and, and I wanted to really open that up to the board for discussion. <coughs> they at this time they do not perform interim audits as as is done in the private sector. He, he seemed to indicate that if we were to institute interim audits, that it would add to the bill. Um, which, uh, it's not saying that's a bad thing, but right. now's not the time to add to a bill. But it, I, I think um, what I need, what, what I'd like to do is get some more in, input or feedback from the board and then um, we can have him in. We can have a separate meeting. Uh, individual board members can speak to him. Uh, I, you know, I expressed to him that 
that part of uh, you know, the, the issue that, you know, believability or credibility of the numbers, and, and he said, well, they're audited when we produce the financials. Those are audited financials. Those have to be, I mean, if we're not going to believe those, then, um, then, then what are we going to do? So, I, where do we want to go with this? Do, do we want to have them in? The, in the other board members want to want to speak? He's certainly happy to speak with any member of the board. Um, he's certainly happy to meet with us and uh, review uh, the audit program, the annual audit program, and then perhaps uh, you know revise or redesign. Again, that may have a, uh, a financial impact to us. I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure where I go with this. With this now, we do have, um, and, and maybe that's where we need to start. I don't know. Uh, we have a set of of, uh, of audited financials. Um, do, do we need to put those on the agenda and have him here and, and go through those in detail? Um, uh, you know, if, if I may. Yeah. I, I, I guess this is along those lines. Uh, and I, actually, I'd like to direct the question for you to Mr. Younger. Um, I, I had a conversation with a, a former uh, finance committee member. Uh, I guess he served on the committee, I believe he told me, 14 years or 11 years. And he said in the past, the state used to come in on a yearly basis and audit from the state auditor's uh, office. And they would come in and they would basically look at the warrant that was passed, the budget that was passed at the town meeting, at the end of the year in review, on a line item budget, the money that was set aside, was it spent on that item? And it got me to thinking um, in terms of what is what should the audit show us? And I, th I think part of it is not just what has been appropriated and spent. But when we see at the end of the year in different budgets where appropriated amount, actual spent amount, tend to differ in some uh, places. And I was feverishly looking for a nice colored chart that someone gave me in a packet. I can't find it. But, uh, and it shows each year that the actual spending is higher than the, the appropriated spending. And, and I think that is where issues arise with people in town, is that when we say we go to town meeting and we pass a budget, and this is the appropriated amount, this was the amount that was put forth by a department, and then they end up spending more money. <coughs> Where does the money come from? Is it coming from another department that's it's being moved over? Is are there uh, are there reimbursements coming from different state programs that isn't being accounted for? I mean, if I know there's, there's an issue where you can say, well, we don't know at the, at the point of budgeting that we're going to get reimbursements. But we can look at history. And if we've gotten a reimbursement under this program for the last 10 years, I think it's safe to assume maybe it'll be cut. I, I know what we've gone through in the past year. But we can assume there's going to be some reimbursement there. So kind of truth in budgeting is if we're asking for X amount of dollars, do we know that there is also Y amount coming from another source that we're not talking about when we're doing the budget. And I think that an audit could tell us that. That it could take the, the budget from a year ago, two years ago, whichever, wherever you want to start, and say, was the money spent as appropriated? And if it was, great. But if it went over that, if the actual amount spent on this line item was more, where did the money come from? To do that because it lends that type of information lends itself to the to the to the argument that there's plenty of money there now sitting here I've, I'm, I've learned slowly that there isn't enough money to do it and but when people look at that and say well they budgeted this amount and they actually spent this amount more where's the extra money coming from and did something that they thought they were appropriating money for get cut in order 
to appropriate money somewhere else. And that's what I think, uh, and, I, and I guess, I don't know if that term would be a financial audit or uh, what that would fall into, but I'm, I'm not looking at a manpower type audit because I think we have to determine that as a community as to, you know, how many police do we need? What are we comfortable with? We don't need a consultant to come in and say, well, you should have X amount of police. Maybe we have more, maybe we have less. I mean, I think we have to make those decisions. But in terms of the, the, the numbers of where the tax money is being spent, that's what I think we need to address to allay concerns in, in the community and to build support for the numbers that we're going to bring forward come this April. Now, I know that now we're, even if we said tonight, let's do an audit and we'll put the money forward, where we'd get the money, first of all, for right now, I don't know. Second of all, we probably wouldn't have it done in time for the budget process this coming year. So this is something that we'd be looking at, in, in my estimation, for next year's budget process. But I think it's important that we address this because I, I think out in the community, this is one of the number one concerns of people, and I think it shows up in the ballot box time after time and in different ways. And I, I really think that we need to, to rebuild confidence in what we're doing here and that people, when you're saying, as, as the, uh, the auditor said, you know, if they don't believe these numbers, what numbers will they believe? I think that's what we need to do. I think we need to address the numbers right down through line items, have it audited, where did that, was the money spent on this? If you spent more, where did you get the, the funds to do so? That's what I'm looking for. That was, thank you. I, I guess the thing I addressed to you, Mr. Younger, I'm sorry, I went on, um, was, are you familiar with that? I know you've been in this uh, line of, for this profession for a while, so have you been in a situation where they were coming in on a yearly basis where to do that type of an audit? The last time I remember the Commonwealth being in here, this was years ago, and it may have been regarding, I knew they did a school audit, uh, which they chose a number of communities to do, that may have been three or four years ago. But as far as generally across the board, I don't recall them. <coughs> okay, I, 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 I don't think you would mind. It was Mr. Jones that uh, told me this, uh, Mr. Ken Jones, right. that used to be on the Finance Committee, told me that that was a procedure in the past that the state used to. Um, like for instance, when we when we send out to have our free cash certified, what are they certifying? Do they audit the numbers or do they just sort of rub a stamp and say, oh yeah, that's how much you got there? It's, I mean, if they don't come in and look at our books, how do they know what they're certifying? The, the audit that we get from Hingston is what the state on. So the state relies on a, a private contractor yeah, then, and they don't audit yeah. it themselves. Then the state that they certify. And going back to many years, late eighties, early nineties, when I was involved in town finance, not much back, and I chaired a finance committee. I I, I never saw it. the state. Now this, uh, this financial management review is a different right. sort of a, a, a different animal, but but I think from your comments, if I could on some of the comments you made, and I, I appreciate that. Thank you. That's that's what I wanted to to get tonight to get a, a clearer picture. Um, <coughs> and I don't disagree with you. One of the one of the comments I made in the last budget process, and, and Mr. Younger knows um, as well as Mr. Dow budget process, one of the things I think we need to do as a community is include um, both sources and uses of funds as part of the town meeting. We need to change what goes in, in the town meeting warrant so that we're including revenues, so that everyone knows what the revenues are, you know, what the revenues with which the budget is being predicated on at, at, a, at a fairly detailed level. Um, I, uh, Pack rat or never empty my bag or a combination of the two or because um, I, I didn't plan to have this but I had this in there tonight when I pulled out the other um, town of land policy I, I realized I had the audit report I don't know if other members uh, are like me and just carry some of this stuff around uh, 